So I'm recording now to the cloud. Hello and welcome to the first of four rituals that will change your life. And we're going to start our ritual tonight uh, by taking an egg or a tomato if you have one. And we're going to begin at our crown and just gently roll the egg over your crown, removing anything that stands in the way of the higher wisdom that wants to enter into you through the crown chakra. Any obstacle, any pride, any um, sense of disbelief, we're wiping this away. We're pulling it off. The egg or tomato represents the potential of new life. And there are things that have happened in our lives and come down to our third eye. There are things that we've seen that we cannot unsee. And yet we still must find a way to have hope. So we cleanse the third eye of delusion. We cleanse it of any clinging on to something that no longer serves a vision, a dream, a hope, a regret, a past way of being, and come down to your temples and stroke away as if you're kind of consoling yourself. There are things that didn't work out. It's okay. There are things that cannot be, and it's okay. I give up my attachment to what's been and what cannot be. I give up stroke your eyes, any clouding of my vision for my highest good. Stroke your mouth, I give up any self-defeating words that I've spoken about myself or my future. Blot at your throat, I give up anything I've swallowed that I wasn't meant to hold or carry. Any injustice or pain that I suppressed that's got me now believing that it's true. Your ears, I give up. Any words of cruelty that were leveraged against me, any self-defeating thoughts or words, or actions I've ever taken toward myself. The back of your head and your neck, I give up any time that I failed to protect myself, any time that I stood in my own way, or any time that I was willfully ignorant of something that would have been to my benefit. Move to your heart. Oh, I give up any time that I ever allowed my heart to become hardened, either through the actions or words of another or through any outside influence. And I reclaim the sovereignty of my heart space. Move down to your belly. I give up anything, any lie or delusion that I have digested and allowed to be truth, even when it was not true. Move down to your sacral chakra. I give up any time that I ever allowed my body to be mistreated, any time that I ever suppressed my true desires that harmed me in any way. I give up any time that I ever received any kind of violation. It does not define me, even as I have learned and grown afterwards and your lower back, I give up any feeling that I don't have support from the universe. I release any doubt I have in the benevolence of all that is. And I allow myself to trust once again that there is benevolence on a grand scale and that it is for me. Doing down your arms and into the palms of your hands, I give up my regret over any money that I spent poorly or earned poorly. And on your other arm, I give up my regret or my sorrow for any time 
that I ever took action in a way that harmed another or when I failed to defend myself or protect myself from someone else's harmful actions. I give up any holding it in your hands. I give up any time that I've allowed my gifts to lie dormant, knowing full well that they wished for expression in the world. This does not define me. Do your legs. I give up any time that I failed to carry my body in the proper direction. I give up any time that I carry within me where I regret anywhere that I went or any adventure that I had. I accept all as my journey of learning and I accept the perfection of that journey in this single lifetime. It has made me who I am. Do your feet, especially the soles of your feet. I give up any energy that has entered my body without my permission or foreknowing. And I release any entity or energy that wishes to leech my life force. And then finally, come back and just holding this egg right in front of you, allowing it to be about a foot out from your face looking at it, I release the potentials that did not come to manifest. I reclaim my potential. I reclaim the possibilities that are yet to come. I will move forward with my courageous new birth. And now place this egg to the side. After our ritual tonight, you're going to take that egg out to the crossroads or to a public trash can or to um, put it in a bag and break it outside of your home and then take that bag to a public trash can. Do not put this broken egg in your own trash. You want it to go out and away and you do need it to break. If you're using a tomato, you need it to be crushed. You can crush it between your hands in a bag or you can crush it under your foot on the ground. Okay, so now if you, we're gonna take uh, one moment. If you've already written your intention and you feel super solid with it, go ahead and just quietly read it aloud to yourself while the rest of us take a moment if you've recently revised your intention, we're gonna take that moment, we're gonna write it on a piece of paper, on our piece of paper. And um, Lisa asks me, um, so I can break it at the crossroads and leave it all there. Yes, can I break the egg tomorrow morning? Yes, but not much longer. It's better if we do it sooner rather than later. There's a momentum thing that we want here. But of course, if it's safer for you to do it in the morning, you should. And yes, if you can break it at a crossroads and leave it, I'll tell you right now, come after me with the police for littering later. And I think that sometimes in your witchcraft, you are gonna just have to litter natural materials and you have to just be okay with that. But if there's a place where it could be of harm to a being that you let, don't wanna leave your egg there, then by all means, break it in a bag and then put it in a trash can. So, we're gonna read, we're gonna say our intentions and say them aloud or write them down.
I'm going to share my intention. This is the process by which I learn to trust myself and my shine again. Through self-care, losing weight, hiring a publicist, and honoring my glow up. I will know I have succeeded because I will receive widespread positive affirmation in the form of a happy, thriving community who know and express their understanding of the value of my gifts. So thank you for celebrating my intention and I also hold for yours. Let's go ahead and fold this paper toward us. So you've got your paper here. You're gonna fold it toward you once. And then you've got it now it's like this, right? You're gonna turn it to the side and fold it toward you again, second time. And then you're gonna turn it to the side again and fold it a third time. So now you've got this nice little envelope, of paper, this nice little folded paper. Place it in your egg and close your egg. And now we're going to chant. We're going to light our candles. So take up your beeswax candle. Blessed be thou creature of fire. Light your candle. Now, we're going to begin to, I've, I've tried to bring this little box so that it won't be messy, but we're gonna try to drip our beeswax from our candle. You're gonna turn it and start to let the wax melt and drip. This can get a little messy. It's okay if it's messy, but you're gonna let it drip onto the, the candle or onto the onto the paper mache or wooden egg so that it will seal that crack in the egg. So it will start to look like this. See how there's the drying beeswax and that's the wet. And while we do this, we are going to chant. We're going to chant um, the by the power of three times three. So by the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be with good toward all and harm to none. So mote it be, it is done. So I'm gonna say one line and you repeat after me as you're dripping your wax. By the power of three times three, by the power of three times three. What I've writ here, what I've writ here, shall come to be, shall come to be. With good toward all, with good toward all, and harm to none, and harm to none. So mote it be, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be. With good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be. With good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be. With good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be. It is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be. With good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be. It is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be. With good toward all and harm to none, 
so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. By the power of three times three, what I've writ here shall come to be, with good toward all and harm to none, so mote it be, it is done. And now, let me know when you're done by giving a little wave. Otherwise, we're just going to quietly hold space. Okay. And if you'd like, you can hold up your egg and show us. Oh, they're so great. Everybody is so pretty. I love them. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh, they're so fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing. I love to see them. I'm flipping from screen to screen so I can see. They're so lovely. Everyone's done so great. I joined at 1.30. Okay, so here we go. Um. So now that your egg is sealed, we're going to put it you're going to put it to the side where you can put it somewhere later on that it will be incubated. And I'll show you um, where I'm planning to put mine. Let me find my. So this is um, a cauldron. And inside of this cauldron, I actually will just be really honest. I keep rags soaked in my menstrual blood. You're welcome to do that or not do that as you see fit. Um, but I'm going to put this into my magical cauldron of birthing. And I'm going to put this cap on it where it will stay for one year and it will live underneath my altar with my menstrual blood, nourishing, nourishing it for a whole year. And lest I forget what my intention is, I probably will write it down somewhere else. So if you haven't written it down in another journal or something, you're gonna wanna do that. Okay, so. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna take our eggs. It doesn't have to have a lid. You just basically want it to be protected. You could even just put a little cloth on top of it or you know something like that so that it won't be like, you know, you don't wanna come home and have your, a cat batting one of your eggs around or you know, the dog comes and takes it or some visiting child, you know, you want it to be sort of safe. Now you have two choices with your candles. Hallie asked a great question. Leave it. And if it's fine, if you don't have bloody rags, you can, you can, you know, instead just hold your cloths to your heart and imbue them with your essence. Um, so to leave the candle burning or no, 
I plan to leave my candle burning, I'm going to let this whole candle burn down. You can do a separate thing if you want to, which is to put your candle out and save it and then burn it successively at the four of the three rituals that we do over the year and then let it all go on winter solstice. So your choice, I plan to do a new candle for each one, but it's neither here, you know, it's not right nor wrong to do it either way. You can either let this one go and do different candles each time, or you can keep this candle, put it out and use it again over the course of the next couple of rituals. So we're gonna go and we're gonna take this. Now, when we go and we take this and we di di uh, dispose of it by dashing it to the ground or stomping on it or both, we're going to then come home. And it's very important when you come home before you cross your threshold that you say this, it's a, it's a finishing spell. And you, you can clap your hands if you want. You can go, it is done, it is done, it is done, done, done. It is done, it is done, it is done, done, done. It is done, it is done, it is done, done, done. Tout, tout, throughout and about, so mote it be. Tout, tout, throughout and about, so mote it be. Um, Maya says, I'm gonna go throw the egg in the volcano's crater. How oh, amazing. She lives right down the road from the, the living volcano. That's wonderful. Um, so don't forget if you need to, I've put the words to this little finishing spell in the groups, one on Facebook and then the other one on the goddess temple app so that you know what to say when you go to do it. And then every one of us has identified already in our action statement, what we're going to do for me, it's lose weight, self-care, hire a publicist. You know, I've got my list of things to do. So we're going to now, from, from now till summer solstice, we're going to do those things. We're gonna to begin to take those steps. And I want you to really pay attention when you're trying to take those steps, if obstacles come up, if a negative obstacle comes up and stands in your way, like, oh, I was gonna, I had said I was going to go on this trip and then like right before I went on this trip, my, my partner or my friend threw a, or my kid threw a fit and didn't want me to go. You have to push through that obstacle. You have to say, I'm going anyway. I love you. We'll deal with this when I get back. If you find that it's an obstacle more like you get to a hard no, like, okay, I was going to go on my trip and then all of a sudden my cat needed to go to the hospital and I can't leave my cat alone, then you say, okay, then I'm going to pay attention to the timing here. There's, you know, I'm, this isn't the time, but I'll reschedule and I'll try again. There's very few times when you're going to try to take positive action for your plan that you're going to come up against a hard no. You might come up against a delay or you might come up as against an obstacle that seeks to delay you, but it's not a hard obstacle that stops you from being in the, um, you know, the swing of things. It's not an, a hard obstacle that should stop you from finally doing it. Um, so pay close attention to obstacles that arise. Pay also close attention to the places where you may or may not have done all of the steps yourself and where you might be trying to cut corners. Pay attention to the places where you go to do something and you think you've done it or you, I don't know how to put this. Sometimes we mentalize um, like as if thinking about something is as good as doing it. That's not this kind of magic. We're going to do the actual things. So I now know I've got my little list of accountabilities, you have yours. And we're gonna take those steps from now till summer solstice. When we meet for summer solstice, we're actually gonna do two meetings on that day. Um, one at um, midnight, it will be, it will be at, like we will gather at 11.45 p.m on the night before the solstice and be together at midnight. 
and then we're going to gather again at high noon and it's fine if no you know if you can't come to both you can watch them later but we're going to brew a potion on that day and that potion is going to be the next step in our journey thank you all so much for coming today this was really rewarding to do this magic with you i so look forward to us supporting each other on these journeys i hope that you will post pictures, images, if you struggle with something, I hope you'll be transparent about it. We are going to support each other through this process. And I will be following up with all of you pretty soon with next steps and little reminders to get out there and do the stuff. So have a great night, everyone, and happy spring equinox. Happy new now. Bye. Thank you.